So team, welcome back to the day eight for the first project that is still on, on the data driven framework. So what we're going to do uh, today is continue and try and complete this data driven framework, the one we started. We initially thought we'll go through the test ng, the simpler data provider, which I'll do one session later this week. But I thought, you know, we should try and complete the one most critical one with uh, using the Apache POI and J unit. All right. So what we've done till yesterday is that we have mastered the art of reading the inputs from the Excel and putting them in the application, getting the results and putting it back in the script, correct? And we encountered lots of issues while we're doing that. Different things started failing in different areas and then we were able to understand how to debug, where to start putting breakpoints, how do we see the values of the variables, how do we know the source, the root cause of any issue that is occurring and try and fix those, right? So that's what we focus towards completing. So I'm going to save this today as tdf1 underscore 5 underscore 6 now, okay? And complete this whole framework. Then I have a couple of uh, important communications to make for everyone. <clears throat> Alright, let's say this. Good. So now the whole purpose team is that good, this is taking the inputs and putting it in the application. This is getting the outputs from the application. This is getting what is expected as part of the code and then comparing them. Now what I want to do is I want to fill in the application results that we get in here, okay? And the overall result out here. What's my overall result? If this is as expected, if this is as expected and this is as expected, then the test is passed. Even if one of them fails, then the result is failed. Are you getting what I'm saying? So there are three values that we're comparing, where, out here, okay? So if this is working correctly and this is working correctly and this is working correctly, then we will say that the whole test is a pass or we're going to say the whole test is a fail. So what we will do first is the same array. How is this array right now? It's got the same number of rows, the same number of columns, like this Excel table, correct? Now, it's got just a hyphen in these cells out here. What we will do first is we will use this array to fill that information. So, where is this? This is column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The column 5 is the application expense total. Where is that coming from? Uh, application output, there you go. The VEXPTOT is the application expense total. So what I can do is after I've done this, I will say that X data on the same row, okay, on the same row, but column 5, we're going to say the value is VEXPTOT. What is this value, team? This is the value that is coming up as part of this app output method. So after we execute app output, I get this value published. Correct? This variable has the value that is come up from the application. Similarly, I'm going to do it for the next column 6 and the next column 7. Column 6 is income total. Column 7 is the loan total. So what? 